from our tall web tech and in this video I'm going to teach you how to build a simple loan calculator using Boomer CXS and pure JavaScript and if for some reason I needed a loan amount of um, 5,000 USD interest rate of five years and number of years one and calculate so in my calculator result section I have of the monthly payment the total interest and of the total amount so let me launch in my code editor. So in my code editor, I have, what I did is um, I created a, a folder loan, which I named loan calculator. There's a two, there's a two file inside the app.js and of the index.html. So I'm linking it, I'm linking it here. It's in the script SRC, blah, 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 and the rest. And, um, I'm not yet to explain this um, how to build this UI, but I used um, Boomer.io documentation, and I encourage you if you want to learn about Boomer. Boomer is so so sweet. I love using Boomer. It's just like Bootstrap, but it is so beautiful and so nice and so good. And um, the the the, con the the creator of Boomer.io has a book which I'll leave a link below. So in that book, it will teach you how to use Boomer by building this um, tax board that comprises of books, customer, and order. So at the end of it, you'll be able to work with Boomer. You can use Boomer to do anything with a breeze. It's like a breeze, so fast. You get so en 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 enough of that, enough of all this. Uh, let's get into business. So in our um, app, in our in simple load calculator, let me go back to Boomer. In building the, the, uh, in building the, the UI, I click on documentation, overview, and then um, start. There are several ways to start Boomer. So what I did, I copy this start template and then um, paste it here, which is what you're seeing here. So I just implement, these are all their classes using um, HTML semantic tags, section, um, class of section, H1, the paragraph, and also we're using their loan, they are <laughs> also we're using their grid system of column and, um, and also using card here. So, in the level, in our level left, which is what we, which which is what we seen here, in, in this level left we have our one and the loan amount. In the right we have our input boss section. So for the loan amount we have in the left we have one and the loan amount. In the right we have the input. In the level right we have the input with an ID attribute ID of and math and also in our form we have an ID attribute of a um, loan loan form so that happened with that of the number of um, with that of the interest rate and the number of years and for the bot team we're using their classes these are all boomer classes then for the results we are using um, the notification is just I encourage you to read through Boomer. You understand how how all this works later. So we are using their their grid system column and they are all their responsive classes here. So that is it. So let's code. So if uh, I think I have to save this. So what we want to do? So if we have if we if we have our input here, we have our values here. Five and one, and this button is click calculated. What do you want to do? So what what we actually want to do is we want to grab these values. So to do that, I want to have a create a comment here. So in this comment, this should be listing for summit. 
So we won't grab in the form because that is what we want to list in for. So we're using document. Document.get element by ID. So and uh, what do we want to get? We want to get our loan dash form. This is it. Loan dash form. And uh, we want to add an event listener. Add event listener. So what do we want to list in for? We want to list in for submit whenever the submit button is clicked. So, so when the submit button is clicked, what do you want to do? When this submit button is clicked, what do you want to do? So in this case, we want to call a function of compute, compute um, result. That's a function we want to call. So let's create our function. This would be compute result. And uh, we want to pass this, since, it is a, since we are using an invent handler here, yeah, we want to pass in E to prevent the default. And uh, so, E dot prevent default from happening. So when this button is click calculated, we want to grab these values in here. So to do that, we want to get our uh, want to target these inputs. This inputs right here. And um, so we want to you uh, let's let me create a comment UI which is the uh, user interface. So doc constant of UI, um, UI amount. Remember we have it here. For the loan amount, uh, we, in the input section, we have an idea of attribute of amount. So that is what we want to target. So we, we are creating a variable so document dot get element by i not animation get element by id so the bot that input boss which is um um a mat this right here this input section here because we need a value we need a value from here so this is what we're targeting now and um Amount, then we need a value, value, not not value, just need value. So same thing happened to the interest and that of the um, year. We need that of the interest and that of the year. So this would be U R. This would be U R interest. That should be interest. This should be U high. Yes. Yes, should be yes. So we can just test this by console log dot log. Mm, we need our amount. Um, interest and um, let's see so what are we expecting so when this button is clicked we want to grab the value right so suppose we have one thousand five and one so let me inspect and um, console so i'm expecting to receive one thousand five and one so we have it one thousand five and one perfect is working so so the next thing we want to do, we want to calculate because since we have this value, we want to do we want to do the calculation, right? That is it. So let me create comment here. This should be calculate. Calculate. Mm, 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 mm. Instead of me to try to reinvent it, we I want to copy the code and just place it here and place it here. And explain. So we need from here calculate down through here. Boom. Yeah, that is it. So from here, after we grab the value, after getting the value of any whatever value that is inside here, 
you want to do some calculation and I expect you if you want to, um, I urge you to um, to look at a formula up on how to calculate simple interest loan amount those the stuff hard here so in this for the calculate we have a principle I'm, I'm creating a variable of a principle so I'm using pass flow to convert whatever value that's inside here to float to float number to floating number um, that's what's happening there so you, you can you can check it out check this out in um, So what the, the pass float what it what it does it returns a floating point number so that that is it so um so I'm converting so I'm converting my this number whatever whatever value that's inside here I'm converting it to that floating number so that's why I'm passing in pass float the UI amount and that of the interest I'm dividing it by 100 and dividing it by 12 for the years I'm multiplying by 12. So to compute for to compute the monthly payment, which is this monthly payment to compute it, this is the formula to use. So we're using I'm creating a very I create a variable of s. So we're using the math.power one plus the calculated interest, which is from here, the float number and um with that of the calculated payment and um, for the monthly payment we are taking the principal multiply by this this value here then multiply by the calculated interest then divide by this calculation right here so for the monthly payment we are converting it to fees to fees to fees to fees let's see what else let's see let's see what is the meaning of that let's search for it here what so is a is a um, to fees is a method format method formats a number using fixed point notation so you, you can retreat and understand what it does so i'm not I, I don't have much time to explain i just want this video to be short so to calculate the total it the total payment so we are using this form this um, calculation here and then after that what we are showing the result so to show the result we are hooking up to our element which is here remember we have an id of monthly payment total interest and that of total payment so in that we are we are getting that element that particular um, p tag this particular p tag here and we are inserting this value in in which is for the monthly payment which is what we calculated here for the total interest which is this and then for the total payment which is this so we are just appending this dollar sign percentage sign and um, the dollar sign and let's save let's test it out so supposing I need six thousand for five and for one perfect so it's working and thank you very much for watching and um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button one love and god bless you bye see you in the next lecture